Hi, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be showing you the Okoya platform, as well as showing you how to create posts like this in as little as a few minutes. But first let's show you what Okoya has got to offer. This is the dashboard, it's what you'll see when you log in with all your different limits and also the features available to you. Let's create some content. So this is what I just showed you a second ago. Here you can create images, text and generate hashtags. Travis AI is our marketing copy AI generator with various different marketing copy generation options presented. E-commerce is where you can integrate your store and select which product you want to promote today. Analytics gives you an overview of performance and social channels is where you connect all your profiles. Let's create a post. Under my content, let's hit create content. Choose your format. And here you'll see various different templates to choose from. We have thousands on offer. You can select one or you can simply search for it. I'm going to choose this one. You can edit the text, of course. You can add stock photos. You can add objects. Let's add this one. Once you've added it, you can move it, change its orientation, shrink it, put it there. You can change the background. You can provide different textiles. Choose your brand kit, your colors, your font, the size of your font, the logo. Let's add ours. Finally, you can upload your own images. Once you're ready, hit publish. And you'll see your picture here. You can also choose from our database of stock images. We published, we partner with these three. You can also choose GIFs with the help of Giphy. And of course, you can upload your own images. Back to the image we just created. The next step is to generate a caption. Let's provide it with a description and hit generate. In a few moments, you'll be given a few options to choose from. You can generate more or decide on one that's preferable for you. We also have trending hashtags, which analyzes this image and generates trending and relevant hashtags. If you prefer, there are other ways to generate captions, such as inspirational quotes. That's your post ready. Let's post it to our socials. Hit publish. You can post it now to Facebook or let's try scheduling to Instagram. And that's your post sent out. You'll see them all in your calendar. As you can see here, you can reschedule for a different time. Let's just do that. Great. So that's how to create a post and publish it onto your platforms. Let me just show you Travis AI. So as I mentioned, this is where you can generate engaging, high converting marketing copy with all these different options. Let's try Google Ads copy. Simply put in your product or brand name, a description, hit generate. And after a few moments, the format will be in the desired format for Google Ads with the right character limits. Hit save and you'll see your saved copies here. If it's not covered in copy assist, try God mode. Here you can ask Travis to do absolutely anything. Here it's showing you Facebook ad for my store, for example. And there's some other options on the right hand side. So that's a quick overview of the Okoya platform. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Hi, Joe here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Akoya based on the latest update. But before we dive in, always make sure you have all your integrations and social media profiles set up. So this profile in particular, Invest Magnet, is an investment consulting business. We have our Facebook, we have our Instagram, we have our Twitter and LinkedIn all connected onto the workspace. 
If you go to posts on the left hand side, here you'll see all your previous posts that you've created. But let's start creating a new one. So just hit this big button here. And now you'll be presented with a simple caption editor. So the first step is going to be creating the caption. And you'll see this little icon here called Caption Manager where we can start generating caption ideas. So let's click it. Here you'll see our Travis AI content copy marketing engine. It supports 26 languages. So if you do want to produce output in, in, in different languages or indeed provide the input with different languages, that is an option. But let's just try English for now. So if you just give it a, a simple prompt, for example, and hit generate, you'll be presented with various different options. Here you can see whether it's appropriate for Twitter, the uniqueness rating. We also have a few other options, so quotes which are really easy to use if you just wanted to, to put a quote on your social media. Announcements, this is more for e-commerce, but we could just say t-shirt for um, $60, for example. And here you go, here are a few options for you. We also have on this day, so this is a new feature where you can see lots of different events that were on uh, today, on, on June the 11th. And finally, hashtags, um, which, which we've, uh, we can generate here. And these are both relevant and trending to, to this caption at this moment in time. And your favorites are those, um, obviously, that you, you've favorited uh, in the past. But if we go back to Travis AI and use one of these, um, one of these few, few captions, let's use this one. Here you'll see the caption presented. Now the next step is to use um, is, is, is to generate some hashtags. So we've added this little button, and if you just click it, called Quick Hashtags, it will produce hashtags again that are both relevant and trending to this caption, but really easy to use. Here you can see the different caption limits. Obviously, Twitter is the main one, so let's get rid of a hashtag so that'll that'll work on Twitter. The next step is to generate the graphic, the content for um, for the post. So this is like on here called Graphics Manager. If we just click on that, we'll be presented with many different options um, to produce content. We have our template engine. Um, we also support Canva. We have stock images um, with these three providers. We have GIFs powered by Giphy. You can upload content, and we also have Cloud currently supporting uh, Dropbox. So if we go back to templates, let's create um, maybe an Instagram template if we um, or we could even search so if we just search for investment you'll see various different options um, this one looks pretty cool so we just click on that edit this will open the editor we can edit the text You'll see different options up here. So for example, resize, we can resize to um, different types of posts, different ads, different dimensions. You also have various different options on the left-hand side um, that you can play with in your own time. Um, and also brand kits where you have logos and fonts and colors. And my files where you can upload things. But let's just, let's just stick to this, um, this image for now. If you just hit export in the top right. You'll see the image appear below here, which you can edit or delete. Okoya now supports carousels, so you can post multiple graphics on the same post or your social media platforms. So let's go back to the graphics manager. Maybe we'll try a stock image this time. Let's search for one. And let's use this one in the top left. Cool, so now we have our caption, we have our hashtags, we have our two graphics. We can preview what's that, what that's going to look like, as you can see here. Let's go to schedule and maybe we'll post to Facebook and we'll post to Twitter. And let's hit post now. Great, so they were successful and if we just view on the calendar, as you can see here, we hit view, both on Facebook and on Twitter, the time it was published and who published it. 
we actually go to our Facebook profile and refresh. You'll see the post here with both the images were successfully posted by Akoya. Let's go back to the scheduler and to our post. We can also schedule the post for a later date. So maybe we'll try this time Instagram, LinkedIn. Let's hit schedule, maybe for next Tuesday in the afternoon. Pick this time, and now let's hit schedule. You can go to our calendar for next week, and as you can see, this is now scheduled for that time that we set. If you want to reschedule it, you can move it to another time, and that will be rescheduled. Great, so that's how you can create a post with a Koya and schedule it onto all your social media platforms based on our latest update. Thanks for watching this video.